you, Dr. Tedros. Now I would like to give the floor to the Secretariat to provide a technical update on the COVID-19 response. Secretariat, you can have the floor, please. Yeah. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Your Excellencies uh, and colleagues, uh, this this presentation will give you a brief update on the current epidemiologic situation. It will summarize WHO's response in particular as relevant to the implementation of resolution WHA 73.1, which you have in your, in your documents, and identify some challenges and opportunities in the current month. The uh, said document, WHA 73.1, focused in its request to WHO on coordination across the UN, strengthening WHO's capacity, assisting member states with both the response, continuity of healthcare, uh, assisting national strategic planning, normative guidance, tools, data, and evidence, working with FAO and OIE and partners to identify the zoonotic source, informing the MS on financing and global access to equipment uh, and supplies. Next slide, please. Uh, the latest epidemiologic curve shows that the pandemic continues to evolve uh, and with a continued surge in Southeast Asia and is once more on an upward trajectory in, in the Northern Hemisphere. Next slide. Uh, the Director... Maybe I'll do it myself. Okay. Uh, the Director General has already referred to the different transmission scenarios. This pandemic is not... is neither uh, dynamically behaving nor impacting in the same way in every member state and every region. Uh, the impact in terms of cases per million uh, because of that varies around the world. So when we look at raw numbers, it's difficult to really look at the impact per head of population. This map shows you the diversity of that impact uh, around the world, and equally so in terms of deaths. Last week, we reached the grim and tragic milestone of one million deaths reported from COVID-19. Every one of those lives lost is a tragedy, as DG has said. Many deaths though have been averted, and many more lives can be protected through our collective strength, resolve, unity, and solidarity, as repeatedly called for by uh, the Director General. Um, the global numbers belie significant differences, as I said, in regional epidemiology. Southeast Asia continues to see a surge in cases with Europe and the Eastern Mediterranean regions showing an increase in cases and deaths. The situation in Africa and the Western Pacific is currently rather more positive. Our current best estimates tell us that about 10% of the global population may have been infected by this virus. This varies depending on country, it varies from urban to rural, it varies between uh, different groups. <clears throat> but what it does mean is that the vast majority of the world remains at risk. We know the pandemic will continue to evolve, but we also know we have the tools that work to suppress transmission and save lives right now, and they are at our disposal. The future depends on the choices we collectively make about how we use those tools, develop, scale up, uh, and distribute others. <clears throat> 